From Nairobi, Kenya, you're listening to the Koza Podcast, brought to you by Koza.com. Kwa sana kwa kuza podcast siku ya leo tunaongea mambo ya uchungu and clearly as you can hear my voice is kind of like diko na hoba and so one of the things that you need to ask yourself is when you're going through some very difficult times at all what do you do by the way as an individual so those of us who go and drown their pain you drown it as if it were an issue you drown it in other things you drown it in booze you drown it in i don't know what else you people do to avoid your pain but Is there any use for pain in our lives? Now our lives are characterized by different seasons and uh, different times God will allow you go through different things. Now uchungu ni kitu lazima utapitia. So today I want us to just build this conversation on should I avoid my pain when I'm going through difficult circumstances? What should I do or how should I approach that moment because pain by the way is going to be there. I mean this is not about oh if it's going to come to you you will feel pain at some point or the other. And so join me today as we have this conversation with my very able team today. Uh, asante ni sana kwa kuwa nasi siku ya leo. Baba Matt, karibu sana. Asante sana. Na Matt, just so that you know, Matt is yes, just as uh, fast born. I'm very um, happy to yeah. to be doing ministry yeah. with my how son. Does it, how, how does it feel by the way? How does it feel to They dress this to, to have your dad here, Matt? You know, how does it feel to have your father? Dad told me how to dress. Yeah, 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 man, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the miracle of grace. That's right. Yeah, to gonna just as uh, ni Baba Matt na Matt mm. ni mweupe. Mm. Uh, and to gonna Matt mtoto wa just as Uh, karibu sana Matt and uh, of course <laughs> we have our truly yours medali kutoka Pwani yeah yeah county number moja. yeah habari gani salama u- u- ubuheri wa afya ni buheri wa afya ah bwana sifwe sana ni <laughs> vyema kukua na kubara any coastal people watching this should not come at me. this is where swahili by the way was born if you do not know swahili i am the one who brought it you and all the other arab will kuja huko indian ocean wananijua anyway so um it is nice to have you guys here today do not avoid your pain as we begin let's build up this conversation and as usual lazima to to share um realities when we talk about such real things we need to know how real are we and so what's the, um, the, the 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 most painful thing that you ever desired you'll avoid in life okay. that you ili kutandika lakini wewe ungeulizwa ungesema tu story tu ingenitokea zile za take this cup away from me <laughs> what, what what was that what was your take this cup away from me moment uh, i think uh, l- let me say that uh, okay i never knew it will be painful later right but uh, losing a dad while young mm. yes it right. he was not that dad that you you will have wished to be with for many years okay. if, if there was not going to be any change mm. but uh, still uh, when i was uh, around 16 years mm. it hit me very hard uh that is the need of a father in my life so right, yeah right. it did me be, i really struggled through that mm. um yeah hanging around other people's dads so it wasn't really it was quite Because difficult it is. that was a difficult yeah. one right yes and, and god made you go through it anyways uh, zungu what was uh what's 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 yours I've had two that are pretty tough. One was not my wife and I have not been able to have biological children. Mm. That was a tough one that God never took away. Another one was when I was um 16 years old, I was legally driving my father's car in the US and I got in a car crash and the the, the person I hit died. And so that was a really right. that was a really painful circumstance uh, uh, for me so both of those were probably the most painful right right mm-hmm. man not to bring it real low but that's the reality no i tell you you know what yeah. i mean you are you are we might just stand this into a prayer meeting um mm-hmm. <laughs> tiffany how much time do we have yeah no 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 not much <laughs> i know you want to share 10 but just share one <laughs> i don't want to share 10 oh man i guess mine is the most recent um mm. a few months ago well We'll be a year now we lost my husband and I lost a child um so yeah that was that was hard right Harsh. man hey you guys man you're talking about very serious things man um yeah um don't always avoid your pain so how how, how does it sit with you because it then becomes a very personal conversation for you guys and probably there's there people tuning in and they're thinking what 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 those guys and the way we see them interacting with us you know as they share these things they have gone through all these things and it's like yeah yeah, yeah. they have gone through all these things and you know we are not exempted from uh, such things and pain will come and the thing that we want to build on today is the 
the reality that you know much as pain is there we should not always want to run away from the pain because running away from it does not necessarily work it out somehow and so i think you get the best team then with me today to just build up this conversation so let me start probably with mr nakutoka pwani kuleta ni kuuliza tafadhali ningependa tueleze um you know uh, uzuri wa uchungu kwa maisha ya binadamu ni gani hmm. kuna manufaa kwa binadamu kupitia mambo ambayo yanampa uchungu moyoni kwa mawazo is there profit is there a gain what, what what's the what's the use of pain mm-hmm. i mean first of all i won't embarrass myself with sahili no, don't <laughs> <laughs> but i promise by the end of this year i'll do better mm, um, do. Mm. i mean yes i think scripture is clear yeah. god in his word is clear on the purpose and the profits of pain mm. in our lives um i think of james 1 2 right. to 5 mm-hmm. and to try and see if mm-hmm. i've done my best in memorization um james writes to the letter to the saints or the saints in exile mm. and he says consider it all joy yeah. my brothers right. when you encounter various trials knowing that the testing of your faith yes. produces endurance mm-hmm. or steadfastness yeah. and let steadfastness have its full effect mm-hmm. that you may be perfect lacking in nothing when i did well mm. um i mean steadfastness endurance yeah. Yeah. um that's one of the greatest purposes of of pain how will we learn to endure yeah if we have nothing that stretches us right or causes or, or brings us to that point where we have to learn it mm. um and paul brings the same idea when he's writing to the church in rome yeah um he writes in romans 5 3 to 5 or he calls them to glory in in their sufferings or to find joy or right. to rejoice in their sufferings mm-hmm, mm-hmm. knowing that you know the suffering produces endurance right. again endurance yields character mm-hmm. character yields hope mm. so when we think about pain and it says, and, it says, and hope does not disappoint and hope does not disappoint right. that's for real mm. um and when you think about this whole resilience endurance yeah. whatever mm. we would call it um the only way we can learn this is when we are stretched right. when people go to the gym the only way their muscles learn to endure the weights and the pain right. is if they keep going at it over and over again we have a runner in our office mm. he's grown endurance yeah, yeah, for yeah. being at it for a long time yeah. so why would we drown pain why would we avoid pain yet we want to grow godly character we mm. want to grow in endurance right um, right and then we know that we need to persevere so that when we have done god's will in hebrews it says we will receive what god has promised mm. what has god promised in james 1:12 the crown of life right. has promised to those who persevere mm-hmm. so i think mm. when we think about it um the only greatest reason i mean a man writes and he says pain or perseverance does us more good than what pain does us hurt mm. so i look to pain and I, I i i exhort you and i exhort us myself included that when we receive pain in form of suffering or trials mm-hmm. that we receive it joyfully right. knowing that the lord is building us a godly mm. character right yeah fantastic man i mean how 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 is this how is this um a reality this thing that even is talking about perseverance in your situations uh, very briefly how easy or how hard has this truth been to apply perseverance you know um there there's been two circumstances i think i've learned probably two major lessons from both the painful circumstances mm-hmm. i mentioned mm-hmm. the car crash um i remember just having a lot of like basically f- f- symptoms of ptsd right you know like a lot of nightmares bad visions crying un- you know uncontrollably just right. things like that would happen right. to me when i was right. 16 right And I remember just one day the pastor um, out of our church quoted Romans 8:28 that God can use all things together for good mm-hmm. for those who love him and are called in accordance to his purpose. Right. And I remember 
going to bed that night, I had another nightmare where I'm just seeing the car crash in the white sheet laid over the dead body, you know, the person that I hit with my car. Mm. And I was having those every single night for months. And um, actually, I should say weeks, not months. And then I remember just waking out of bed with tears in my eyes again, just on a Sunday night and saying, God, I cannot handle this. Mm. And I want to ask you to take this from me. And I can't explain it, but God just lifted that off of me. Right. And um, and I don't think that's probably a normal circumstance, mm-hmm. but I think that was my circumstance. And so I think I learned in that lesson that God can lift burdens off of me. Right. That he can use things for good. So yes. like even this is an example of him using it for good. I'm sharing my story with people. Right, right. But you know that God can lift burdens. Mm. But now the circumstance with... Um, you know, with my wife and I not being able to have children, yeah. Um, another lesson I think I kind of learned through that um, was that I kind of remember just, you know, just being really stressed and just looking up the sky and just kind of like shaking my fist at God and basically saying, um, "I've given you my whole life as a quote missionary. I'm eight. I'm like ten thousand kilometers away from my family and everything I, you know, that I've grown up with." I've given you everything. Why can't you just give me a normal, you know, life with right. a, with a child, and, you know, right. and all these right. things? Right. And after several, and I and I regret saying that, but I, it's the real. I was, but it's, it's what said. it's what it's, your heart it's, it's is the going truth. to. It's the truth. It's what I felt. Yeah, yeah. And I just remember thinking too. So the lesson I learned from that was, at the end of the day, can I really complain mm. that God has saved me from His wrath? Right. Through Jesus Christ, and that I will spend eternity with him mm. worshiping and knowing his glory. Right. And the the blessings that come and come and come that I can just sit and count and just in my my earthly life and also the ones that are yet to come in right. heaven. Right. So Yes, God can lift burdens, but at the same time, if He doesn't lift my burden, I've got plenty to rejoice about. Right. Mm-hmm. So I think I learned to rejoice them, you know, in in the midst of difficult trials and circumstances. I'm not perfect with that, no. but at the same time, I think I've learned that lesson. So to me, mm. that was that was something that was good. Mm. That pain taught me. It has taught you, and so somehow you can say that you know, indeed it has. To, uh, persevering through these realities and and uh, I mean sustained realities in yeah. fact they're still there you know yeah. it's it's building your character and building your your hope just so I don't know I mean I, I'm, I'm just trying to look at uh, these and the realities of, of the, the the things that you shared and, and I'm wondering for you how have you um, how has pain built your perseverance? How is that working out in your life? Because uh, Tiffany is, is, is raising that to us. You know, don't avoid it because it is working something. You know, that perseverance, you know, to, to be there for long. You know, I think the other, the synonym to that is suffer long. Remain there for a while. Yeah. How, how has that, how has that helped you? Or how has that worked in your life? Uh, okay, for me, uh, let me say that it has, actually it has helped me. Um, cause um, I don't know whether I could have been diligent to even study and learn about what fatherhood is all about. Mm. Um, yes, so it really led me into a lot of study, right? And just getting to learn, of course, from books and from the Bible, getting to see what is really expected of a father, right? Uh, cause I tried to hang around other people's dads, and I realized they will never be my father. No. One time we are with my pastor, and I'm driving him somewhere. And uh, yeah, and the kind of a reaction that uh, he had, you know, to Kiwa Nayalikwa Mechoka, he was very sleepy. So he mm. told me, eh, you know, I want you to drive me home and such. And uh, But I just realized that uh, while we were together, you know, uh, the kind of um, the way he will treat the children and such, I realized, like for me, it's very different. different. You're very not, different. different. You're, you're not yes. the children, right? Yes. And another person, again, I try to hang around to. Uh, when moments <coughs> were there for us to really disagree, as in like it was so bad, uh, and he could have all the worst things to say, and yet he's the, one of the people you are looking up to as a father. So mm. I think it left me to a place of just looking up to God right? And uh, as a father mm. and be able to engage. So I think through that study and getting to appreciate my situation mm. as much as i know for my brother sisters i yeah, know yeah. it's not something they've actually one has never even gotten over that right uh but at least uh, for me it really helped me to cling on to god more 
Right. Uh, so so I can say at least there is something that was built up in my life fantastic, as a result. Fantastic, fantastic, yeah. fantastic. As you continue to tune in, I mean, we are we are having the conversation and we're just taking it nice and slow because these are very critical matters. Now you're there and you're going through your own uh, plate of pain. I don't know what it is that you're going through. You've heard what these guys have shared here. Um, I mean, I could share a whole bucket list of uh, such experiences, but you're saying that one of the things that pain does in your life is to build perseverance, which is working on your character, which is leading you to uh, the hope that we have, which is Jesus Christ, and that if you do not turn to Christ at that point in time and see this as a tool that is using to build your perseverance, then you're going to you're going to snap. And what you're hearing that my friends are sharing here is not is not a walk in the park. And so, are you growing in perseverance during that pain? Now, one of the things that will help you to do that is the Word of God. You need to find yourself just reading and plowing in through scriptures, and 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 Kusa app is probably the thing that you're looking for. You want to download that app immediately on your phone. You'll get devotionals, you'll get blogs, you'll get podcasts, and you get all the other things that will help you to grow in your relationship with Jesus Christ. But also, you can visit us at www.kusaapp.com, www.kusaapp.com, and that is going to be a good thing. You'll get all the resources that you need there for your growth. If you know somebody that doesn't have a relationship with Jesus Christ as well, you, in the website, you want to just click the Receive Christ button, top right corner of the website, and you'll see it there, and there's a video right there that is going to explain to you what the gospel is, and so you want to share that with somebody in case you have, uh, you know, you're lost for words about what to say when it comes to sharing the gospel. And so let's let's continue to plow in through this conversation. We're taking it nice and easy, nice and easy today, because these are very <laughs> difficult things and there's no way today I'm rushing all of us through nowhere and so uh, number two number two the, th- the other thing that I need us to just build on is so is if, if pain is building in us perseverance is pain everlasting or or is it I mean is it uh, uh, should we just decide to history so I mean what what's the nature of it Tiffany I mean Ecclesiastes 3, I was trying to remember that yeah. book. Ecclesiastes 3, 1 to 8, mm-hmm. um, the poet Solomon um, reminds us that there's there's a time for everything right. under the sun. Mm-hmm. Um, it's time for joy, it's time for pain, it's time for dancing, it's time for singing, for mourning, right. um, and many other things for harvest that are listed um, on that portion of scripture. Yes. And I think um, I want to read Romans 8, mm-hmm. 18, for mm-hmm. I consider that the sufferings of this present time mm-hmm. are not worth comparing with the glory that <clears throat> is to be revealed to us. Mm-hmm. There is an end to suffering. Right. Um, for some of us, it may be short-lived just for a moment in time here on earth. For others, it may linger on to a time of death, physical mm-hmm. death. Right. Um, but the reality of it is pain will not linger for eternity. Pain will not linger for eternity. It will not linger for eternity. And sometimes it feels like my now is like eternity. Now doesn't seem to end. And and it, it does feel like right. that for me too. I mean, with losing a child and battling health and mm. struggling with many other things right. from, I mean, it does. I, w- I would be lying if I say it has felt awesome. Awesome. <laughs> I, I'd yeah, be lying yeah, if yeah. if I've if I've resonated with Paul and James to say I have joy. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. Mm. Um, but when I think about it in retrospect, I mean Paul to the Corinthian church. It sa- he says the pre- the sufferings of these present times have nothing compared to the eternal weight of glory. Mm. I don't know if that overwhelms anyone's mind or right, heart. Right, right. But I'm thinking, if the weight of my pain is this immense, I wonder what the weight of glory would look like, you mm. know? I mean, it's if he says it's incomparable, <laughs> I will remain at it. It's There's nothing that can compare. Mm. Um, 
so yeah pain is not eternal it will come and go we we have a hope that we are wait of the second coming of Christ when he comes for his bride mm. and we know there will be no more pain no more sorrow in revelation we read there will right. be no more pain there will be no more tears our tears will be wiped away right. so we know that there's an unending joy that awaits us mm. when Christ comes to receive his bride mm. so then Well, how do we look at suffering then in light of eternity then we know one it's purposeful we've just come from saying it builds in right. us character and hope and endurance mm. but we also know that it reminds us of the goodness of god right. romans 8:28 we know everything worketh together for the good of those who love god mm. and are called by his name mm. we know then it reminds us of his unending comfort psalm mm. 23 verse 4 yes um at many other things it reminds us to mm. look on eternal things and eternal life mm. um and finally we right. know that pain also remind is there to equip us to yes. comfort those who will go through a similar kind of pain right second corinthians 1 3 to 5 mm-hmm. so i mean rest in knowing that it's seasonal right and it's purposeful mm. and it's working together for your good it's mm. seasonal and it is purposeful now just as i don't know and, and i think you know the kind of um the kind of um pain and tough times that people are going through today and, and those ones who are silent they don't talk about i mean it's 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 a, it's a blessing that you're, you're able to speak and say you know what this is the plate of suffering that god has taken me through and there are many probably watching it today and they cannot even open their mouth like when they start opening their mouth they probably break down and just can't get themselves together and it's difficult and so from your experience if any say you know what this thing is seasonal it's purposeful it is not here to stay it is not here forever no it is not here forever and so i mean how 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 do you help how do you help somebody to to decode this in their minds just to because okay fine she's saying from my experience this is what i'm learning from scripture it is purposeful but when i don't see the purposefulness of it what do i do mm. you know um i think the challenge is because the purpose and the reason for it always comes at the end when you are in that moment mm. yeah. you really don't see the why 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 da- should god allow me to go through this right like for me for example my dad um dying when i was young mm. uh honestly i could not be in the ministry if he continued with his drunkenness right. and uh, right. abuse right. i could not be in the ministry because uh, he is one man who of course he loved education mm. and uh, he could have pushed me probably to accounting world because mm. he knew I was good in maths mm. uh, so he could have pushed me to a different world altogether right. but god had his own plans mm. uh, and purpose of course mm. with my life so mm. so, so we, we on that with that uh, I, i in mind i think right now i see that uh, initially i could not have uh, I could not have appreciated that right. but right now i appreciate at least i am in the ministry mm. uh, it was my first degree going to train in bible and theology right. so it has has worked out really really uh, actually for for me mm. and uh, in terms of what god really wanted with my life mm. and so the, when you're going through that difficult moment right. honestly you will not see as though any good thing will come you know when we read mm. the story of job right. for us we already know the end so <laughs> we have, we have, uh, we we have lived this life the through end. before exactly. we so so consider yourself in that state mm. or like you're in that space of job right and you are like you know what will really what good will come out of this mm. but knowing about the sovereignty of god that right. god is in control is in charge mm. you know mm. of our lives right. then you can really put your trust in him after mm. all where else do you run you are already right. at the moment of pain do you yeah. choose to kill yourself do you choose you know to backslide and say don't want anything to do with this god anymore right. uh job was in such a state and so mm. uh, to me i think serving and living for god out of conviction rather mm. than convenience right. i think to me that is key mm. so that it's not about pain is an emotion emotions come go today you're feeling yeah. happy yeah. Mm. Uh, that moment is gone again yeah. after yeah. a little while so yeah. emotions feelings come and go so i think if we appreciate it is that seasonal it's just a moment that you know you are low in spirit you feel like no i cannot if you get to appreciate you've been there over and over right. and this is not like the first time you are going through pain no. unfortunately no. Mm. every experience seems new to us mm. you know and it's different and it's, it's, it's <laughs> exactly. different yeah. 
and leaves yeah. us with different scars. Yes, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, but mm. it is not really new uh, to us. So, so I think getting to appreciate that is critical. Maybe just to yeah, share on these two yeah, other yeah. points uh, in regard to this. Um, look at it in terms of ministry. Uh, how really this pain helps us in our ministry. One, we are able to get to appreciate really God mm -hmm. and, and experience God in our pain. Uh, Paul talks about this in Second Corinthians uh, chapter 1 from verse 3, that uh, uh, that uh, the God of all comfort, you know, he right. comforts us in our troubles. Right. So there is God also in the midst of pain mm -hmm. and he comforts us. At times we want him to be a Mr. Fix it. I'm going through this. Mm -hmm. Just come and fix this situation. But at moments, looking at how Paul reveals God in this scripture, right. he will not come and just fix it. At times he will let us go through mm. even that season, mm. but he assures us that he will not leave us. Like the right. Psalm 91, even in trouble, I'll be together with them. Mm. So getting to appreciate the presence of God in our pain is key. And number two, looking again in the same, same book of 2 Corinthians chapter 1 uh, from verse 4, that the same comfort we receive, mm. we are able to comfort other people. And this is right. the element of ministry mm. in our pain. Mm -hmm. That there are many people will come across who are going having a difficult time and knowing that God has helped us through in our seasons of pain mm. then we can always have a word in season mm. for any other person who is weary and going through a similar difficult time right. so look at it in relation to the ministry right we are here actually we are here to encourage you because we've been in that moment of pain yeah. you have had our testimony what could we be telling you if it was all cozy and amazing and good things for us so, right right <laughs> yes yeah I think, and we will we will get back to that. I don't want us to get back to us because we will definitely do a second part of this conversation and, and just build up on that. But you know, because there there's things about the ministry that we still want us to to just talk about when it comes to matter Spain and all. But Matt, as you land the plane for us in this in this first part of this conversation, there's this scripture that that uh, Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. I'm talking about pain being seasonal <laughs> and 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 purposeful. Now, can you just land the plane for us today by putting this in context? Context because it is not a scripture that is supposed to be read during exams and you want us you to perform well and you're graduating. It's really at the stack center of our conversation today during these times of pain and, and hardship and stuff. And then we'll build this conversation even as we get the next, the next part. So la wrap it up for us by helping us to understand how is it seasonal and purposeful in view of this promise in Jeremiah 29 11? You know, in Jeremiah 29, um, uh, I forgot the context correct. Mm. It's kind of in this time where God is basically telling the Israelites, you're going to be in captivity yeah, for yeah. 70 for years, 70 years right. with Babylon. And that means now um, Jerusalem is destroyed. Right. That means the priesthood is, you know, and even leaders and all these sorts of things are just right. going to be killed. Mm -hmm. A lot of people mm -hmm. are killed and mm -hmm. wiped out and bloodshed and all kinds of awful things that they saw. Right. And yet... There's this promise in there in Jeremiah 29, 11, which even I think unchristian Kenyans know <laughs> that God, <laughs> that God, I know. That God I has a good plan, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's for true. us, for welfare, not for evil, mm. to give us a future and a hope. Right. And so that's there, and and that's a promise to hold on to. Right. Right. And mm -hmm. I can kind of take this in the context of Jeremiah 29, 11, that this pain is not wasted. Mm. This pain is is used in by the hands of God for mm. something. Right. And again, mm. it's not a must right. that you see the purpose of it. It's oh, nice if you're like justice right. and you kind of see now how God's used it. Mm. But I don't really know why I hit that lady and she died in the car. I know. I don't really have like a clear, this is why God allowed that to happen. Right. And I'm sure Tiffany's got stories. Justice has probably got stories. Mm. We can all share stories. We don't really know the quote purpose of that. Right. But it's not always a must. I don't think, for example, that Joseph probably knew beyond, okay, I'm going to now ultimately become I now I see I've become basically the prime minister of Egypt yes. so I could save my family and basically the race of, of the Israelites right. so now the promised Messiah can come through that. Right. Beyond probably that, I don't think he knew. No, not even much. He didn't yeah. know that yeah. us today, you know, like, you know, several thousand years later, mm -hmm. that we're going to be encouraged by his story, that billions of Christians mm -hmm. have read that. And been and help has helped them now persevere in their faith and find glory in the Lord, right. mm. and that God right. can use evil things for good. Mm. So I I think it's it's a uh, so I want us to wrestle with the fact that 
it's okay maybe if you don't know the purpose right. of your pain. Right. Mm. Okay. But it's mm. but leave it into the hands of God and the promise of Jeremiah twenty nine eleven that his plan is going to be good. Right. Mm. And it's got purpose behind the pain. Mm. And so share your story like Justice is talking about in Second Corinthians one. God has comforted me. Yeah. And now I'm here. I want to comfort you. Right. And so, you know, you let that pain have a purpose, mm. you know, to go mm. and be a comforter to other people. Right. And then leave that into the hands of God and, you know, and be okay with it. Right. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Well, I don't know what where you are and what your situation. You don't always have to know um, <laughs> the, the purpose of that pain immediately. But just know that God's hand is behind it, working out his good pleasure. For we know uh, that for those who love God, God causes all things to work together for good. Now, these are pain. These are these are difficult things to understand as you talk about pain. And so I'm really grateful for the confession you guys have brought. Remember, remember, remember that Pain builds your perseverance, but also pain is seasonal. It's just here, but for a short while in the next conversation, as we follow up on this one, we'll build it up and understand just how, what does it mean for pain to work something in our lives? How does that pan out and how can we then continue engaging in the work of the ministry in the Lord, even as we go through the challenges and the seasons that is brought us to our lives? Once again, if you're there and this you are plate right now well i pray that the lord will encourage you with all these testimonies that you're hearing today until next time to the podcast to anani badai thank you for listening to the kuza podcast brought to you by kuzaapp.com an online ministry with blogs videos podcasts and a mobile app make sure to make, make, make sure to subscribe to get more content to help you grow spiritually